Hi, it's Paddy Hirsch at Marketplace. So an index is kind of like a basket of shares of select companies, right? So you can have a, a small basket like the 30 shares in the Dow Jones Industrials, or you can have an enormous basket, all right, like the more than 3,000 shares that are in the NASDAQ index. The NASDAQ, of course, is a very tech-heavy index. Now, an index fund is a way for individual investors like you or me to get our money to move in the same way as these indices without having to buy every single one of the shares that's in the index. Like you wouldn't want to be buying all 3,000 shares on the NASDAQ, for example. So to show you how this works, I want to introduce you to Jimmy. Right, Jimmy's a big fan of technology, and he actually wants to invest in a, an, a tech index fund. So what he does is he finds a fund that will actually replicate the movements in the NASDAQ. And the way this works is these managers take Jimmy's money and all the rest of the invest other investors' money that invest in their fund, and they buy a certain number of shares of every single company that's in the NASDAQ index. And what that means is when the NASDAQ moves up, when technology does well, it means that Jimmy and those other investors' investments improve. And when NASDAQ does badly and technology falls, it means that the value of those investments also fall. Now, the great thing about an index fund is that you don't have to worry about the sticky business of selecting individual stocks because that business is already done for you. Just buy the index. And that means, of course, that you don't have to spend lots of money paying upfront fees or whatever to these investment managers that would be picking those stocks for you. It also means you don't have to worry about missing out on some great gain in technology when the technology index bursts through the roof. However, if things go the other way and technology corrects and you start to see the NASDAQ fall, well, you could be left very badly needing a drink.